Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss how to derive delta S mixing for a binary solution and from this we need to prove that we cannot produce 100% pure metal using this equation. Friends, this question was asked in Bark Scientist Interview Metallurgy. So let's get started. Friends, here we are mixing A and B. Na is number of A atoms and Nb is number of B atoms. Delta S mixing is given by KLN omega where K is Boltzmann's constant and omega is total number of arrangements possible using Na and Nb. So the total number of arrangements possible are Na plus Nb factorial divided by Na factorial and Nb factorial. Friends, let's apply first logarithmic formula here ln of A by B is equal to ln of A minus ln of B and then we'll apply this formula into this equation. So here ln A by B is equal to ln A minus ln B. Here ln B we have written ln A, A into B is equal to ln A plus ln B. Friends, after applying this formula in this equation, and cancelling out these n terms, we're gonna get the final equation as this. Friends, here we can take Na common from this and this, and Nb common from this term and the this term. So let's do that. So friends, after taking Na common, we'll get this, and Nb common, we'll get this. Friends, here, ln of A minus ln of B. So here we can apply ln of A minus ln of B is equals to ln of A by B. So friends, after applying the logarithm formula, here we can say, this is nothing but, 1 by xa right and a by number of atoms of a divided by total number of atoms is mole fraction since it is in the reverse form it is 1 by xa and it is 1 by xb so ln of 1 by xa we can write as minus of ln xa right so minus k if we take minus as common we can write it as na ln xa plus nb ln xb so friends here let's multiply and divide with total number of atoms so the numerator stay here and the denominator is going to divide here and here right so na by na plus nb becomes xa and nb by na plus nb becomes xb now we have new expression minus k total number of atoms multiplied by xa ln xa plus xb ln xb friends now multiply and divide with avogadro's number to convert this total number of atoms into number of moles so we're gonna get minus k and not and we divide this total number of atoms divided by total number of you know, atoms in a mole we get Na plus Nb which is nothing but number of moles of A plus number of moles of B multiplied by Xa ln Xa plus Xb ln Xb. Friends here Boltzmann constant multiplied by the address number is nothing but R and we take this total number of moles to the other direction other side which will give us delta S mixing per mole. Molar delta S mixing. So friends Delta S mixing divided by we are taking Na plus Nb to that direction. So we have minus K into N naught we can write as R times of Xa ln Xa plus Xb ln Xb. Friends, this is the equation that we are looking for. So friends, delta S mix for our binary solution is this. So friends, let's look at the free energy change or free energy of you know binary system is given by Xa into free energy of A plus Xb into free energy of B plus delta G mixing and this delta G mixing is given by delta H mixing minus T delta S mixing. T delta S mixing which is what we call calculated configuration entropy and delta H mixing is depends on the system. If it is an ideal delta H mixing is zero. If it is if we consider it as a regular solution model delta H mixing becomes omega Xa Xb and for sub regular solution we have another expression Xa Xb into Xa omega A plus Xb omega B. So friends let's substitute this in this equation then we will see what we are going to get. Friends this is the equation we got now. So friends let's differentiate with respect to x a okay so with respect to x a and we put x a times to 1 because here we are trying to find out what happens if we are trying to get a pure substance right so after differentiating friends these are linear terms so these doesn't create much problem but here we are having logarithmic term so let's differentiate only this term and let's see what happens and substitute x a is equals to 1 so dou by dou x a of x a ln x a plus 1 minus xa ln of 1 minus xa so this gives us let's differentiate quickly ln xa plus 1 this into minus 1 minus ln of 1 minus xa so this is what we get guys so let's substitute xa is equals to 1 this is 1 ln of 1 is so you can see this is 0, these two get cancelled, minus ln of 1 minus 1, 
So here we're going to minus ln zero. So this value is minus infinity. Friends here. So friends, if one term diverges, the function diverges, right? So the differentiation of delta z with xa, if we are going towards one, the value is minus infinity, which means the free energy of the system reduces like anything when we are approaching or when we are adding small amount of solute. It doesn't matter if the solute is interacting. It does not matter what is delta s mixing. But initially, when we are adding a small amount of solute, the free energy diverges to the negative infinity, which means system is very, very stable if it is having a small amount of solute. System is not stable if it is 100% pure because of the free energy is very, very high. Friends, these are free energy versus composition diagrams. So the tangent of this free energy of the mixture, if we see as long as we're going towards the pure end, the slope is going towards the infinity, right? So, and this occurs if omega interaction parameter is negative. This kind of curve we get. So if interaction parameter is positive, we get a curve like this. So here, no matter omega, if it is positive, there is always a reduction in free energy if it comes to the pure end side. If omega is extremely positive, then we may get a curve like this small and, you know, but there is always this small reduction in free energy when there is an addition of second element, a small amount of. Friends, I hope you know why the curves are looking like this. This all comes from the basic equation. G is equals to XA GA plus XB GB plus delta H mixing is nothing but omega xa xb this is for regular solution mode and plus delta s mixing so all these parameters affect this curve if omega is negative we get this lower and lower curve if omega is positive this trough becomes a curve like this and delta s mixing is always positive and g and gb these are the parameters which are affecting the nature of the curve so friends so we understood that free energy has to decrease on addition of small amount of solute atom because it highly reduces the free energy of the system. 100% pure metal is highly unstable. Even if we are able to produce small amount, it is easily going to get contaminated because its free energy is largely reduced by introduction of any contaminants. So I hope you understood the concept guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.